engage to Brad. Just the same as Betty Monroe was to Ralph Hotchat. <laughs> Dr. Scott, you know full well what Brad Mavis is doing here. 
Um, your plan was not. The he and his female should check the layout for you. Unfortunately for you, there is to be a change of plans. I'm sure you're adaptable, Dr. Scott. I know that is. Oh! Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Presence here comes as a complete surprise to me. That's just the setup you have here. I didn't expect anything quite so, uh, so. So, this is okay to Dr. Scott. Or should I say, Dr. Long Scott? Say hello! <laughs> exactly, why are you implying? It's all right, Fred. Later, sir. Over here. Now, <laughs> what do you think, Doc? Well, at this precise moment, it's hard to tell. But it appears to be made of a metal that is not on this earth. In fact, I would say that it comes from another planet. Magenta, I'm indeed grateful to you and your brother Rifra 
You have served me well. Loyalty such as yours must be rewarded. And you'll find that when the moon takes me, I can be very generous. I ask for nothing, Mark. And you shall receive it. In the balance. Come! I'll guess the very restless. Transylvania. Go! 